A legal battle is looming between the VA and veterans advocates. It impacts tens of thousands of veterans, including some right here in the Tampa Bay area. Now, this fight involves exposure to dangerous herbicides at U.S. bases on Guam, the government's denial that it happened, and benefits denied by the VA. A series of reports by 8 on your site senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews added fuel to the fire. Veterans who served on Guam during the Vietnam War contend exposure to herbicides with dangerous chemicals should qualify them for health care and disability benefits. The VA argues they weren't exposed. If the VA doesn't change that tune, expect a lawsuit by mid-July. Lakeland veteran Leroy Foster went to his grave swearing he sprayed the toxic herbicide Agent Orange at Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. If you don't want to pay for compensation, don't. But don't lie to us. In this letter, VA Undersecretary Paul Lawrence stated the government found no evidence of Agent Orange or other tactical herbicides on Guam. It denied a request by military veterans advocacy attorney John Wells to consider extending a presumption of exposure to herbicides for veterans who served on Guam. The U.S. sprayed Agent Orange in Vietnam to eliminate the enemy's cover. Exposure is linked to several deadly diseases, including cancers. In his letter, Lawrence adds, During the 1960s, these chemicals were components of commercial herbicides that were commonly used on foreign and stateside military bases. Whether it's classified as a tactical herbicide or a commercial herbicide, if it contains dioxin, it's still a harm. On his deathbed, the VA finally confirmed Pasco Navy veteran Lonnie Kilpatrick's exposure on Guam. It granted health care and disability benefits. Weeks later, cancer claimed Lonnie. Look, these guys didn't go out and ask to be sprayed. They were sprayed while performing military duties. And uh, frankly, I don't think that uh, the, gee, we're opening the floodgates argument really holds that much water. Because, first of all, a lot of these folks are dead. You know, and, and poor Lonnie Kilpatrick is an example of that. There are hundreds of lawsuits in which lawyers claim a common household weed killer exposed people to toxic chemicals. John Wells claims what happened on Guam is no different. In Hillsborough County, Steve Andrews, 8 on your side. If you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, you can call the 8 on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.